hit that subscribe button and the bell icon beside it to check out our latest videos before anyone else. Hi there guys, I am Nikhil from DD Tech and these are the best features of OnePlus 5. Dual camera seems to be the new thing now and OnePlus 5 has the same setup as an iPhone 7 Plus with a normal primary camera and a secondary camera with telephoto lens for lossless zooming. We have a dedicated mode called portrait mode that blurs the background of an object like a DSLR. Once again, it's the same feature that you can see in iPhone 7 Plus but on OnePlus 5, it's not very well implemented. It still needs refinement. One of the most unique features of this phone is the alert slider. We have three modes silent, do not disturb and ring mode. You can have separate set of rules for each mode on how your phone behaves when you get a call or a notification. It's really a super handy feature to change profiles or put your phone to silent mode without looking at the phone. One of the best features of OnePlus 5 is actually dash charging. You can charge the phone completely in less than 60 minutes, phone doesn't heat up while charging and phone will charge quickly even while you're using it. I have tried many phones with fast charging, but dash charging is the best and the fastest I've seen so far. On OnePlus 5, we can choose between on-screen buttons and capacitor buttons from these settings. From here, we can enable or disable backlighting for capacitor buttons. We can even swap the buttons, enable on-screen buttons. We can choose to use the fingerprint scanner as home button while using on-screen buttons. If we use the capacitor buttons, we will have a lot of shortcuts like double tap and long press and we can configure them to do anything we want. OnePlus 5 has some handy gestures like flip to mute. Once this toggle is enabled, you can flip the phone when you get a call to mute it. We can also do the same by pressing the volume buttons, but this is a fancy way. If you are lazy to take screenshots using physical buttons, you can use this three finger screenshot gesture. Simply swipe down with three fingers and it will take a screenshot. Once you take a screenshot, you can click this button to take a long screenshot. As of now, it's not very well implemented, but it's still great to have on stock Android. We have the famous double tap to wake feature too. When the phone is locked, simply double tap on the screen to wake it up. We also have some other screen of gestures like we can draw the O for camera app, V to toggle flash. We can change the actions they perform and add new gestures like S, M and W. We can do specific stuff like opening the front camera, start video recording, open the rear camera or even opening a specific app. From these settings, we can change the battery style from bar to circular, display battery percentage, show network usage on status bar and configure the icons you see on the status bar. Just like the Pixel phones, we have night mode. Once enabled, it puts a warm tint on the phone to filter blue light and thereby protect your eyes at night. It is supposed to help you sleep better. We also have automation rules to turn it on automatically, which is something I really appreciate. OnePlus offers a unique mode called reading mode that puts the display in grayscale mode. Everything is black and white, just like the Kindle. As the name suggests, it's useful for reading. It also helps save battery as OnePlus 5 has an AMOLED display. We can even automate it to turn on for specific apps. Say if you open a Kindle app, it gets automatically turned on and when you leave the Kindle app, it gets turned off. OnePlus also offers three themes, default, light and dark. Obviously dark looks super cool because of the AMOLED display. We also have the option to change accent colors from here. Next we have a feature called ambient display. Once enabled, whenever you get a notification, display lights up just like Moto display. From here you can have a quick glance at the notifications. Next we have light up display. Whenever you pick up the locked phone, it lights up and shows you the notifications, just like in the ambient display mode. OnePlus 5 has a LED notification light and we can choose to enable it or disable it using this toggle. We can even set specific colors for battery percentage and disable LED notification light for specific apps. We have an app lock built into the phone. First you need to set a password and then select the apps that you want to lock. 
Once it's done, if you open a logged application, you will be asked to enter the password to use the app. You can also use a fingerprint scanner to unlock it. At the bottom of the sound settings, we have audio tuner to improve the audio experience on the headset. We also have presets for specific headsets to get the best audio experience. We have a mode called pocket mode that prevents your phone from working when it's in your pocket. Once enabled, it uses a proximity sensor to see if your phone is in a closed space. As you can see, if I cover the proximity sensor, double tap to wake doesn't work. If I remove my hand, it works again. For anyone who is wondering about OTG support, yes OnePlus 5 has OTG support, you just need to enable this toggle to use it. You also need a compatible USB Type-C adapter for it to work. Next we have scheduled power off and on. Using these settings, we can automatically turn on or turn off your phone at a specific time. I never had to use this feature, so let me know if you do. If you are a hardcore gamer and don't want to be disturbed while playing games, this is a super handy feature for you. Once this mode is enabled, capacitor buttons stop working and you won't be interrupted with notifications. Only calls and alarms can disturb you while gaming. Once again, even this feature can be automated to turn on only for specific games. Everyone is trying to do something with their home launcher. Google added Google app to it. Samsung added Bixby. OnePlus has Shelf. It simply shows you your recent contacts, recent apps and the option to add some more widgets. Now for some tips. You can enable developer options by clicking build number 7 times in the about page. From here you can disable developer options or enable USB debugging. Normally when you select reboot, you will be asked for a confirmation. But if you enable advanced reboot option in developer options, you will get additional options when you select reboot. This is probably the best feature on Android 7.0 Nougat. You can use two applications side by side. As of now, all the applications doesn't support this feature but there's a fix to it. In developer options, scroll all the way to the bottom and enable force activities to be resizable and reboot the phone. Once your phone reboots, you will be able to use all the apps in split screen mode. Apart from all the visible features, OnePlus 5 is a true world phone. It supports 34 network bands across the world. So one phone variant that works across the world. So guys, that's pretty much it for this video. If I missed out on anything, do let me know by commenting below this video. And if you like this video, hit that like button and subscribe to our channel to see more cool videos on tech. I'm Nikhil from Greedy Tech signing off. Have a nice day.